It'd be amazing if the stars could decide on our behalf. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to our channel Watch This Weekend. So Netflix has released the final season to a recent Italian mini series An Astrological Guide for Broken Hearts. And today we will not only be reviewing the show but will also give you a recap of season 1. So without wasting any time, let's get to it. This show based on a book is thoroughly entertaining and a feel good romance we have all been waiting for. It is all about how the stars affect our life, how the time and date of our birth plays an important role in our destiny. For those of you who are an ardent believers of horoscopes, will absolutely love it considering your own beliefs about a star sign align with the perceptions in the show. The story revolves around a girl named Alice who befriends an astrological guide named Theo. Alice is creative and generous and throughout the show meets different zodiac signs as a potential match. It is fun to watch the series to find out after all the drama who she ends up with. The acting is quite convincing and all the actors are really gorgeous. Be it Claudia Gasmano who played Alice or Michelle Rosiello who played Davide Sardi or the character of Theo played by Lorenzo Adorno. The aspect we liked about the show is that not all characters are firm believers of astrology. It tries to convey that the stars can't decide for us, but can only guide us, and it's okay if some of us don't believe in it. And that is exactly why, for anyone who is looking to blow off some steam or is hoping for the opposite, an astrological guide for broken hearts is the perfect show. It's enjoyable, romantic, gripping, cheerful, light, refreshing. and has a really good concept now for our audience who is eagerly waiting for season 2 but needs a recap to season 1 here we go in season 1 alice after learning that her ex carlos is engaged to cristiana is barely surviving the days it is during this time her stars align and she befriends a guy named tio who is equipped with astrological knowledge and is now her love guru Alice works in a production company where her former boss is replaced by a good-looking guy called Davide Sardi. Meanwhile, Theo inspires an idea in Alice's head for a new show her TV company could work on. Working closely with Davide, Alice develops a liking for him, and certain events lead for the two of them to share a passionate kiss. The last episode opens up with Carlos trying to get Alice to listen that he didn't mean to cheat on Christiana and then Alice blatantly points out that he needs to get his shit together and grow up in the same episode we also learn that Alice after talking to her best friend Paula reaches to the conclusion that Theo might have a crush on her when she confronts Theo he laughs and just when the geologist Andrea shows up says it's someone else after getting all that cleared up Alice goes to look for Davide but to her surprise finds Davide kissing another woman who was earlier helping them with the company's production and on this heart chattering note season 1 ends well it's safe to assume that after this abrupt ending we were all excited for a season 2 comment down below and tell us was it all you had expected if you like our video please like and share our video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel Watch this weekend.